The Federation of Kenya Employers, FKE, wants the government to provide a mechanism to finance the provision of accessible and adequate housing without overburdening employed Kenyans. During a public participation forum on the housing bill in Nairobi, FKE argued that imposing a levy to facilitate the provision of affordable housing will set a wrong precedence where the implementation of every social right must be preceded with taxes and levies imposed. Residents who included professionals, local leaders, business community and women voiced their opinions during the public participation on the housing levy that was held at the KICC. Here's Ben Kirui with the details. The fifth day of the public participation on the housing bill was held in Nairobi. The protocol ex, uh, Residents, including different groups, are turning up in their numbers at the Kenyatta International Convention Center to give their views to the National Assembly Committee on Housing and Urban Planning. Me to speak in English. The Federation of Kenya Employers, FKE, in their presentation advocated for the government to establish mechanisms to finance the affordable housing project without further burdening the overtaxed formal employees loaded onto the employers who can barely manage the high cost of doing business. It's something we are requesting and we are asking the members of parliament to consider looking at the situation the economy is in, the number of levies that are being levied from the employees and that are required for the employers to contribute the way where we are so that we don't end up hurting and, and, and making these employees go home without nothing. FKE highlighted the potential negative impact of a 1.5% levy on both employees and employers, deeming it discriminatory, arguing against setting a precedent of funding social rights through imposed taxes. We ask that... In the ideal situation, it would have been voluntary. That's the ideal situation. Make it voluntary, and if the houses are really being built, the people who, who, who wants the house, they will be able to pay that levy because they see the benefit. Concerns about housing affordability resonated among Nairobi residents who argued that the proposed cost for affordable housing units were excessively high. Wakati nimesikia mama mwingine ya meongea hapa, amesema mambo ya 21. 21,000 is not an affordable housing. Nafikiria, Mr. Chairman, you have to come up with a mechanism whereby ikiwa ni mamamboga, because the president is advocating about mamamboga. Mamamboga ni mutu wabaya anapata erufu tatu. Hapa tunaongea mambo ya slogan bottom up. Mimi unanitoa kwa maisha ya kulipa nyumba 1,000 ama miatano, unaanza kuniambia nilipe kama venye nimesikia. 21,000. It is a Let us honor the bottom up slogan. affordable. committee. Some groups called for the removal of stiff penalties for employers failing to remit housing levy deductions. The Nairobi social movements and civil society organizations termed the penalties as punitive. Kama kuna housing levy ambayo inafo kutuwezesha kupata access to housing, affordable housing tunasema ambayo is a right alafu unaambiwa ukikosa kulipa ile housing when you are in default then there is a penalty members of the national assembly's committee on housing and urban planning are expected to retreat to write a report after completing the exercise of receiving public views at the end of this month and then tutaileta bunge and then tutaiona ni gani tutaipitisha na tukipitisha ikuwe sheria tuhakikishe pia kwamba hiyo sheria imetumika vizuri hao wabunge wote waliniunga mkono vile nilisema ile amendment nilileta kwa bunge ya kusema hii pesa yote tunakusanya isiende mahali pengine iende tu kwa housing
The public participation in Nairobi on the housing bill comes two days ahead of the much-anticipated appellate court's decision on the government's application seeking orders that suspend the high court decision which declared the housing levy unconstitutional. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, 